Hey there, YouTube. How you doing? This is the best one, eh? Out at the Lake Pagnacket State Park. You guys, you, you probably remember when I brought you here last year. Last year or this spring. I don't know. Whichever. Anyway, I wanted to bring you guys out here to show you this uh, black longboard skateboard that I just picked up. I ordered it off of Amazon. Um, you can actually order it off of, the, off of their website also. This is the, the back of it where you can see the pinstripe in. And it comes with these uh, hooligan wheels, they call it, which seem to spin pretty good. They have uh, Helion 2 bearings in them. Uh, I'm not really a skateboard guy. Never really been a skateboard guy. When I was a kid, I had a skateboard. And I used to love it, man. I loved skateboarding. And it was nowhere near this size it was a much smaller skateboard probably half of this um but i think about as wide and i used to do a lot of skateboarding just in our neighborhood um riding around like all of us had skateboards and it was just the funnest funnest friggin thing but i figured maybe i wouldn't mind getting one just for a little bit extra uh, exercise a little bit extra um something to just stay busy and have fun with the, its length is 37 inch its diameter is is i believe it's a 28 either 28 or 27 if i'm not mistaken i just looked over the specs real quick the um the width of this part here this board here is 10 inches if i'm not mistaken that's 10 inches yeah so you know i, I had to do a lot of looking online and researching and um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to really spend a lot of money. I paid, this board was 109 on Amazon, if I'm right. So, you know, I did a lot of looking online and when it comes to these skateboards, especially long boards, I saw that they can get really expensive. I didn't realize how expensive this could get, but when you start to look and you read a lot of the reviews on Amazon, you know, whether you go to your local skate shop or you go to Amazon, but when you start to read the reviews, you start to see some people saying, well, I had to loosen the nut so that the wheel would spin a little better because it, it you know, it wasn't too good and the bearings weren't too good. Or they would say like they would change the wheels out. And I was like, wow, you know, if I got to spend 120 bucks and I have to change out the wheels and change out the bearings which the wheels are like I think they were like another 40 bucks and the bearings are like another 20 or something like that it was like you know what why not try to find something that's a little bit of a better product to begin with and already comes with decent wheels and comes with decent bearings and I mean I can spin them for you and I'll show you a little clip insert of unboxing it but you know just spinning them for you you know they spin for a little decent amount of time not a not a crazy long time but um seem to be decent and uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna take this out I'm gonna ride it um like i said again i haven't been on a skateboard for god knows how long <laughs> i'm in my 40s and i haven't been on a skateboard since i was probably like 15 okay so um i'm out here at lake tagnick state park tacanic state park they have a really nice flat area so we're, i'm just gonna take it easy i got my helmet in the car uh it's a it's a it's it's a chilly day it's about 47 degrees right now maybe 50 but it feels like 47 so i'm gonna put my helmet on and i'm just gonna try and get used to just mounting the board a little bit of push off practice some braking and then just try a little bit of uh a little bit of just some slow carving just back and forth just to get the feel for it anyway so um yeah so let's get that started all right all right
let's try some more breaking. I could definitely see wearing knee pads <laughs> just by some of these rocks that you hit and like they kind of just damn near saying you flying in a way like just from when it stops but you just got to be quick on your feet and ready to run and then you're kind of all right but you know definitely nice to have your gear just in case definitely for your knees because all it takes is for you to trip up and well you guys know how that goes So, uh, I forgot to tell you, this board is made out of eight plies of Canadian maple wood. It feels pretty sturdy. Uh, you know, just standing on it. Well, you know, standing on it without, without breaking your booty. Uh, feels pretty sturdy. doesn't flex much like I said I don't notice much flex and I'm I'm uh, 220 224 pound 225 <coughs> and uh, yeah not noticing much flex let's see if I can get it in front I mean pretty sure you can see me just standing on it like I said, you know, for being a beginner, I like it. So definitely skating what they say is goofy is freaking difficult. So that was fun. Had a good time on a black longboard. It was nice. Uh, of course, yeah, I did bust my bum 
once, but uh, what are you gonna do, right? Things happen. My little rubber thing came off. I had to figure out how to figure out where it went. Anyway, uh, so my plan is definitely to ride more, skate more, um, and just get a little more practice before I would hit any type of hills or anything crazy like that. So you, know, you definitely, definitely need the experience. Anyway, enjoyed the time out here. Um, Lake Tagnacic State Park, really beautiful state park as you can see, really nice. Quite a few people out here today and um, everybody's just kind of just enjoying themselves. Anyway, so till next time, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Me kind of just skating around, uh, busting my hump. <laughs> uh, so until next time guys, I'll see you later.